Well, the bags are all packed, everybody. I think it's safe to say I am done with Vegas. Uh, today is obviously the last day we're here. Yesterday was the last day of SEMA. My voice sounds even worse than it did yesterday. Uh, but we are all packed up, ready to head on out of the hotel. Today we've got on the dock, we've got a photo shoot lined up for TIS wheels. Then after that, we're driving the truck back home. Now, as you know, I avoided driving the truck all the way over here because we put it out last second out of the shop. And to me, if it didn't have a good shakedown, I didn't want to risk driving in here, something going wrong, and then me not making it to SEMA because, well, I was contractually obligated to be at SEMA. So today should be an interesting day because today is the first day we are really putting some miles on this truck. And, well, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to get back to reality. Get back to my own bed. <clears throat> get back to my own bed. And, uh, yeah. I don't know how people do Vegas for so long. It's rough. So we're gonna head over to Pet Boys right now. I need to get some spray detail or just something. This thing's just got like a light little mist of dust on it. I want to get that off before the photo shoot. Um, honestly, I have no clue where we're going today. I'm pretty sure it's somewhere in the middle of the desert. I have no clue who the photographer is. Uh, I may be getting sent to my death. I don't know. Uh, we're either gonna get really cool pictures or we're not gonna make it out alive. So we'll uh, we'll see what happens. So Josh is probably gonna be really mad at me for seeing me uh, doing what we're about to do once we get over there. But hey, you gotta make do with what you got. Sorry, buddy. And Wilson's diesel is at least a dollar cheaper than it is back in California. We better fill the old girl up here. I don't think I've put diesel on this thing in probably about six months. So she could probably use a fresh tank. I don't know, but I would love to have these fuel prices down in uh, California. Something tells me Vegas here, it's not cheap, but it is a, a heck of a lot cheaper than where we're at. So we literally have coordinates to where we're going, I'm guessing in the desert uh, for this photo shoot. So. Well, I think it's safe to say, judging by the amount of trucks that are right here in the middle of nowhere in the desert, we're in the right spot. This is actually really cool seeing all the trucks, like some of the baddest trucks from SEMA. I know some that you guys wanted me to, to get video on and we didn't actually have time to do, so maybe today we can grab a, a little bit of footage of some of these and then way off in the distance over there, there's like a whole nother pack of trucks. So apparently this is the place to be. It's actually really crazy to see all the trucks that we just saw over uh, in the middle of Las Vegas congregating in one place over here in the in the middle of the desert, really. Uh, but apparently, this is uh, this is the thing. This is where everybody comes to do their photo shoots. I think there's like three or four photographers going on working for every single company. Uh, I know I was brought here, and our photographer is uh, through TIS Wheels. So we're just kind of waiting our turn in line here. But uh, I guess we're uh, we're not done with SEMA. We get to look at some more cool trucks. Uh, it's really, really, really sweet. Like I said, guys, from the beginning, um, this opportunity has been awesome. And I just want to say thank you. You know, I want to thank all the sponsors. I want to thank all you guys. I want to thank everybody that's made this possible. It's, uh, it's pretty much a dream come true. So it's really sweet to be out here and have this opportunity. So if I'm correct, I believe these are the wheels I was supposed to be getting for the BBB build. Hence the TIS logo that was on the truck that got pulled off. You got to keep his TIS logo. So this truck actually looks pretty freaking sweet. He's running Ultimate Air Ride front and rear. This teal color is just absolutely beautiful. All 
All right, so kind of while we're waiting here in our line to uh, to get our picture taken, I ran into this beautiful platinum right here. Eddie is the owner. Eddie, how you doing? Appreciate it, brother. This truck's beautiful, man. I, I've never been a, a big fan of the silver, but seeing the silver with just a little bit of co uh, uh, what color is that? It's like a tealish. It's actually um, it's called Illusion Tropical Fusion. I mean, I'd never even seen the color before. It just kind of we ran with it. So. No, I think it looks beautiful. You did just enough of it. It's not it's not too crazy. Um, what suspension setup are you running on this truck? Um, it was built down in SoFlo. It was all one-off build. Um, it's sitting at about 20 inches of lift. Um, they set it up at 16, and we cranked it up a little more to see what we could do with it. Awesome. And then I see you're running some uh, TIS wheels on there. Yeah. So you can see over here, he's running another DB Customs grill. Same guy that made my grill. This is obviously their Ford variant. Iron Cross bumpers, AMI hooks. Looks like Iron Cross has their own light bars now. This thing is, uh, this thing's beautiful. So he's running the same Mark Mod tires that I am. Obviously, his are much larger. Well, he's running 40, 15, 5 by 28s, and the 28s just look massive in 40s. It's, uh, it's crazy to see the new trend of how big the wheels are getting. Do you have other tires and wheels back home? Actually, I, it came here on stocks. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you were one of the guys that barely got your stuff last minute, yeah. huh? It, I picked them up Saturday night and had to mount the tires by hand, and uh, that's crazy. <laughs> Stretching those bad boys by hand? Yeah. How long? It took it was five guys on each tire. That's crazy. <laughs> no more accurate than that bad boy right there. So if any of you guys were at SEMA and you heard uh, our DJ here, <laughs> really the only guy playing any audio that was worth listening to because there wasn't anybody that was bumping anything super loud. It wasn't Chris. Yours was by far as clean as can be. Thank you. Do you have anything in the bed? Actually, yeah, it's got 612s in the bed, which I mean, you can't see, but I didn't see much. And then, well, I got this so you really can't see what's going on. Gotcha. Right there, but. So that whole thing's built out as one big yeah. one big box. One big piece. That thing. Just, just kind of just what I did with Tim will, will get you a one, one, one angle. So whip around um, a long ways this way, and then once I kind of get you at the right light, I'll have you straight. Go and turn the wheels to this. So just come straight back at you and then yeah, yeah, wait for wait yeah. direction. Yeah. This is the behind the scenes of what a real photo shoot looks like. I haven't never been to a real photo shoot. Uh, let's pull up my steering wheel a little bit more. More. Right there for me. So one thing I've always wanted to do, and from what I heard, the Kelderman kit versus the Ultimate Air Ride, um, there's kind of two key main differences. As you guys know, Mark Ticola has a Kelderman kit on his uh, his 2015 Chevy, and I was really torn between going Ultimate Air Ride and Kelderman. Well, we've got a sweet truck over here with the Kelderman kit. Obviously, I got the Ultimate Air Ride. We're gonna kind of com compare uh, them going up and down and kind of show you guys the, the differences. All right, so I hope you guys just liked our comparison here between the Kelderman and the Ultimate Air Ride. This truck's actually Mike's. Mike, yeah. nice meeting you, nice brother. Nice meeting you, too. Uh, give us a walk around here with your, uh, your beautiful Platinum here. Thank you. Yeah, so we uh, teamed up with Kelderman. We did their uh, 10 to 12 kit. Um, we also ran their Bravo Series front and rear bumpers. Um, we did the uh, 26 by 16 specialty forged wheels, uh, the 40 inch Fury tires. One of probably the biggest trends I noticed, especially this year at SEMA, is motion is where it's at. You gotta have a lift kit that is adjustable, and how you do that, now you're starting to get some uh, some more options on the market, but it's definitely uh, it's definitely the way to go. I mean, if you want to compete in any way, shape, or form with what's going on here at SEMA, that's, that's the way to go, and I'm a huge fan of it. I'm a big fan of it too, yeah. It's just like, when you go out to the strip or anything like that, you're able to adjust it, and it makes everyone look at your stuff. Well, and then even there, I mean, if you're running Fords where you have actually round wheel wells and you can 
drop your front and your rear. I mean, being able to fit in places that my truck will never fit in, it's definitely, it's a huge benefit. And oh, so, absolutely. you know, a lot of people think we're doing this for the looks or just for like the coolness factor. Now, mind you, I do play with it a lot. And yeah. I played with it all night last night on the strip. Um, but it actually is practical. I mean, loading yeah. things in these trucks, when they're lifted 12 inches, it, it's not fun. So to be able to drop the rear on my truck, obviously without the solid axle swap, we don't drop the front, but I'm guessing you dropping the whole thing to get in and out is uh, it's a game changer. Huh? Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. If you have like a low garage, you can drop it all the way down, pull it in, and then pull it out and lift it back up. So it's a huge, huge benefit for practicality. And, or just like what you said, just having the rear bags in the back, being able to drop it down, get into the bed, get what you need to get, and then even for towing too, you're adding a better capacity for towing and oh, a, yeah. sm a smoother ride in the back. A, a bunch of these trucks that you're seeing that are just coilovered, they can't tow with them. Yeah. Um, if you don't have that airbag adjustability, your rear suspension is going to be so soft that the second you go up a trailer, you're going to be sagging so much, you're not going to want to tow with it. To me, motion, airbags, it's definitely the way to go and the ride's plush. Yeah, oh yeah. You can't I think the it. ride's really good, especially over leaf springs in the back. Yeah, I'll, I'll never do leaf springs again, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Awesome, Michael. Well, I appreciate it, yeah. man. I appreciate the walk around. Yeah, it was nice meeting you. Yeah, get home safe, buddy. Thank you, you too. All right, guys, well, our photo shoot is done. That was our last and final commitment here at SEMA. Now's the time we're gonna hit the road and really uh, put some miles on the old BBB build here. You guys know I'm nervous about this. Nothing's been shaken down. I know for a fact we have a little bit of rubbing on the, uh, the right rear caliper. Now, I'm pretty sure from what we kind of determined last night, it looks like it's from those caliper covers. The, the way that the bracket mounts down in there, it's just barely ever so lightly rubbing on the top face of the, uh, on the top of the caliper, so it's not really a, a big issue. Unfortunately, I just don't have any tools with me uh, to take them off, otherwise I would take them off right now. So, like I said, we checked it out last night. It doesn't look like it's too big of an issue. So, we're going to, uh, we're gonna hit the road. And here's to hoping the, uh, the PVB build is uh, no longer cursed. but it sure feels amazing to be home. Tell me about it. Huh? 
That was a long ass drive home. What the hell? You been back there the whole time? Yeah. You tell me we've been in Vegas seven days and, and you've been in the bed of the truck. Everybody's been looking for you, buddy. I took a long nap. Well, I wish I took a nap. I think we're going on about, uh, whew, I don't know. I think I maybe got combined 16 hours of sleep in That's seven far, days. That's a far drop. Yeah, I don't know how you're getting out of there, buddy. Uh, all right, come on. Let's do this. I don't know. No. Got you, buddy. No. All right, you're on. Oh, jeez. So, Chris, everybody wants to know, man. I got a lot of people asking where you were. Why didn't, why didn't you go to SEMA with us? Um, they were asking about me? Dude, you got, you got quite the fan club. Oh, maybe next year. I had to move some furniture. Oh, busy guy? All, all seven days? Yep. Oh, all right, it happens. Well, guys, it's been, uh, it's been a hell of a week. Feels amazing to be home. SEMA was probably one of the... Uh, one of the greatest experiences of my life. I know we ran into some issues in the beginning, but all in all, as a whole, it is something super cool, and I highly, highly recommend you guys, if you can get the opportunity, um, even just going outside where it's free and open to the public every day, it is absolutely worth it, and I would highly recommend it. Uh, in the next couple of days, I'll kind of do, I'll do some videos kind of recapping some of the things I learned, some of the things we went through. Um, I'm not going to say the frequency of videos is going to stay on daily because uh, daily is actually really, really tough. So I commend any YouTuber that does it daily. It is not easy. But I'm definitely going to try and keep up the pace and really provide a ton more content for you guys. But probably the most important news and the best news is the PVP made it. No issues. The truck ran flawlessly. Everything went great. Um, surprisingly, these tires actually kind of got worn in and they got a lot less chattery. I know they're really hard compounds. So, uh, that was actually really nice to see and finally by the time maybe it was just we got back onto california roads which actually sucked but seemed better than nevada roads i don't know but uh the bbb build did great i'm looking forward to actually getting some time behind the seat of this thing being able to kind of bring you guys some reviews of all the parts that are on it and, and to really walk you through it now that it's really in my possession of course i need to give a huge thank you to all of the sponsors that jumped in on the bbb build helped me get into sema um it was I can't thank you guys enough. So please do me a huge favor. Check out Bulletproof Suspension for building me that sweet custom coilover suspension that they built me. Mark Ma Tires for getting me the Dakar MTs. TIS Wheels for sending me the Dropstar Forged Wheels. Ultimate Air Ride for getting me that Ultimate Air Ride Rear Kit. Vlog Industries for being a huge supporter of the builds. Uh, meeting them in person. Nathan and Kevin over at Vlog were amazing. So thank you guys. Legends Off Road for building me these sweet mirrors, headlights, taillights, third brake light. C4 Off-Road for getting me all the lighting for the truck, coming out and hanging out with me this weekend. Speed Pull for taking care of this build, Chris's truck, all my builds that I've done in the past. Matt over at Speed Pull has been a huge supporter of the builds since day one, uh, clearly. Uh, so thank you to Matt as well for hanging out with us all weekend, or all week, I should say. DB Customs for building me the sweet Work For It Custom Grill Roadwire Interiors for just knocking out this beautiful interior in record time if you ask me. Gen Y Hitch for giving me that badass stabilized hitch in the rear. Bolt Lock for always making sure that thing doesn't get stolen. Speaking of stolen, some douche stole my freaking bullet antenna. You ain't stealing mine. What's up, dude? No. I need a replacement nope. bullet antenna. You nope. got a sweet one sitting over nope. there. See the 2000 good thing is, I need mine. Here. You need yours? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, the good thing is, True Spike who gave me the sweet lug nuts for these wheels also make brand new uh, antennas for these things so I think uh, I think we'll be getting a new one so whatever dirtbag stole my antenna enjoy it we'll get a new one I also want to thank app steps for making sure I can get up into this thing without tearing that new interior I want to thank Odyssey battery I want to thank Josh for always making sure he comes in and details this build I want to thank the guys that came out and did the beautiful TIS logo on the side that unfortunately had to get ripped off but it is what it is guys that's SEMA we're going to be doing something cool on the side of this truck at some point, so stay tuned for that. I want to give a huge, huge thank you to Preston Shop, Zach over there, and all the boys that jumped in in the last hours to get this thing out the door to make sure we make it there in time. I want to give another huge thank you to Sean over at SR Designs for just putting this whole package together for me, getting me to SEMA, making sure that I know what the hell's going on, because going to SEMA the first time as a rookie was definitely... You know, I was in way over my head, so helping him or having him help me along the way uh, was awesome. So thank you, brother. I really appreciate that. Thank you to Strictly Custom Designs for coming up with the uh, concept or helping me come up with the concept and seeing it before I actually went out and spent a bunch of money on stuff that I may or may not have liked. So they really helped seal the deal on the look of the BBB build. So thank you to them. Thank you to Quality Powder Coating for getting this uh, transparent copper, which has been a nightmare to do. 
proper so everything's looking good and I know I'm missing some so if I miss you I'm sorry uh, I'm not good at this I would never be a great NASCAR driver or at least I could be if as long as I don't win I don't have to say all this stuff but uh, I'm trying I'm trying uh, I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that came out to the show everybody that came up and wanted to meet me um, it was a super humbling experience uh, I cannot thank you guys enough uh, especially Rowdy Rowdy came up and gave me this awesome Air Force Thunderbirds uh, coin Brother, thank you. Thank you for your service. I really appreciate it. I met so many cool people this past week. Uh, it's been probably my favorite part of the entire experience. Uh, I got to hang out with a bunch of my Instagram buddies, Mark, Chris, Jack, uh, a bunch of other guys that we met up with this weekend. So we had about as good a time as, as you can really have. You know, I, I'm really grateful to have all those people in my life. Uh, I want to thank everybody that let me interview this weekend. You know, it's, it's intimidating to have a camera in front of your face, even if you're talking about your truck. Just ask Chris. He's still, I don't know what you're talking he, about. he's still getting used to it. Uh, so everybody that let me interview them about their vehicles, uh, thank you guys as well. I'm just happy to be home. It's gonna take a couple days to really like shake off the Vegas, not sleeping, not eating, just chaos and try and get back into a normal routine. But I think, uh, I think we'll be able to handle it pretty good. Also, we got a ton of work for it orders that we need to jump into uh, like ASAP and get those things out. So that's really what we're gonna be doing for the next like 24 hours. So. So as always, if you guys have not subscribed to my channel, please click the subscribe button now. That way you do not miss out on any future content. And uh, I think it's safe to say we're going back to SEMA next year. Don't you worry about that thing. And we've actually got a couple more Vegas events that are looking like they're lining up with other companies. So I think we're going to bring a lot of cool content for you guys. Don't forget to give this video a like, aka a, a thumbs up, especially for Chris, because we need to get him in some more videos. Don't forget to check out WorkForwardApparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, whether it be a beautiful SEMA build, whether it be this beautiful build whatever it is you got to be willing to get out there and work for it you work for it thanks good job buddy thanks truck's beautiful hug <laughs> okay that was the strangest hug i've ever had in my life Man, i'm glad it, what happened we were gone bro what nothing no oh, okay absolutely nothing all right so yeah guys well with that uh I guess we're just gonna wrap this video up. Roll the outro. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.